But we're here. It's time. You know it's time. You know it's fresh, boy. It's the mold. 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 I'm back on the track with a superstar status. Crazy crossovers. I'm here to let them have it. 2K Madden. It's all the same. I play so great, baby. About to rip up the game. The channel just leaking. People keep sleeping. Godzilla mode. We the best kept secret. This is just an intro. Open up your window. Take time to check out the video. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Godzilla Mode. And today I have another great video for you guys, all right? In today's video, I will be showing you guys another great offense in Madden 23. And this offense is in the Green Bay Packers uh, playbook, offensive playbook. And it's one of the great ones in the game you can use for mutt and play now. It doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get right into the video. So the offense is the tight doubles formation. Which is one of the best in the game. Tight formations are just like elite right now in Matt 23 because there's so many man beating routes and formations. And like tight compressed offenses are one of the best in the game right now because it be zone and man coverage. All right. Like I said, it works for man, it works for mutt and it works for play now and current gen and next gen, position and ace box. All right. So what you guys want to have, you want to have your best route runner right here at this spot right here. Then you want to have your best tight end right there. And then have a very fast like receiver. Well, either side, you want to, you want either want to have a very fast receiver. Or it just really depends on what you want. But I'm going to leave, I'm going to put mine right here and then put another, uh, yeah, boom right there. And then let's go ahead and the play we're going to be focusing, focusing out of is this play right here. Uh, where is it that was? I just had it. Oh yeah, flood right here, right? Uh, let's come out and just cover through this guy right here. Boom, right? So what you guys want to do if you... Okay, so this is how the play looks default. And I do, you can run it default like this. But uh, against cover three, what I usually do is just put B on a fade. Block my halfback because this is a bomb play. I'm going to try to bomb out of this play against cover three. So you guys go ahead and snap it. Make sure you guys stay in the pocket. Now watch B right here. B is going to outrun. He's going to get wide open right there. And that's a bomb. I just free-formed it too much, but that is wide open. I'm going to show you guys how and why it got open right there. Let's go ahead and snap it. Boom. Now, as you guys can see right here, watch uh, Mark Cooper, which he's actually open. I mean, oh, Mark Cooper, he's going to get open on the outside. And that's why this this streak is so good right there because it's going to... um. It's going to open up this corner route for Amari Cooper to get open or this receiver right here. And then what this does is this this streak is going to move this middle third in to check it, to come in and try to guard it. And then it's going to leave the fade. All this is going to be wide open. And the reason why a fade, you want to do a fade because he's just going to run the outside of the uh, the DB. So when he runs, so when he do run the route, he's going to be on the outside of the DB. And then what well, if it was a streak, he would run on the inside of the, the, the on inside the numbers right here. But outside with a fade, he's going to outrun them right there. And you guys can highball it. Or you can, like I said, I just lobbed it right there. I did free form a little bit too much, and he didn't be able to catch it. But right there, that's an easy dot, and that's a bomb player, right? But like I, but like I said, um, you can't run the default, and if you do, if they are running cover three, that wide route does get open about 90% of the time. And then make sure you do, you know, throw it right, get a good animation. You guys should be good uh, right there. And then, like I said, if it's not open, you do, you do have other things right here. You got the B route, and you got the A route. So they could be, you got A through the middle right there. That's actually that's wide open right there that's the first down right there and it's just other things you guys can do if they are i mean if they are running cover three or if they just run the zone period you always put your hat back on the route but if the pressure is coming in too fast sometimes you don't want to put your hat back on the route because you want to have them for blocking because sometimes the pass rushing especially with edge threats and things of that nature can be kind of hectic and things of that nature all right so let's go ahead and come out and get a different defense and let's come out and uh, where's the player right here flood and let's come out in the cover one right here, right? Cover one, Robert. And then cover against cover one is this. What I, this is what I usually do is put B on a uh, zig route and block my head back. If if now if if he's in a man blitz, I usually block my head back. But if he's not, I put my head back on the route to the left, uh, left like this. Watch him and then watch why right here. He's actually going to get open right there. And that's why you want to have your best route running receiver right there because uh, 
he's going to just cook any DB right there, especially if he's a great route runner. So, like, Mark Cooper has route take. And even if he didn't have route take, he's still a great route runner high overall. So, he's still going to get open 90% of the time. That's why you guys want to have, like, a good route runner right there. And then, like I said, you want to have a uh, speed receiver where Schwartz is at. It's going to block my half back just in case he is blitzing me. And as you guys can see, now, okay, the reason why he didn't get open, that's actually over right there, eh? But the reason why my speed receiver didn't get open is because I didn't send my head back on the route. So let's go ahead and send my head back on the route right quick. Put B on a fade like this. Now watch, stay in the pocket. Now watch X right here. He should get, oh no, actually he's not going to get open because I'm playing against his computer. So that middle third is going to get, um, it's going to pick that up. But if, if you are, if you were playing like online against an actual player, um, that uh, they most likely going to be using that middle third, and you guys should be able to lob pass it to the, like um, lob pass it to the 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 streak, which is the X route. I mean the X receiver. That's why you want to have your a uh, really really fast D uh, not DB but really really fast wide receiver right there. And then if you have a tall receiver, with my boy DPJ, the B receiver, go ahead and uh, just lob it up to him, bro. Like uh, high ball it. Just think, like if it's like fourth or fifteen, you got nothing else open. And you have a very tall receiver, just throw it to him, bro. And just hope for the best. Make sure you guys highball it, though, because highball is the way to go. Just hold the left bumper. Like, right here, I'm going to highball to my tight end right there. Just hold the left bumper against a linebacker, small DB. And it just right now, I guess, Matt Cover. That's really like the only way, if unless you have like a route tech or a really, really, really fast receiver, then that's the only way you guys can basically win games against Cover Zero because, like, Cover Zero is just kind of broken right now. It's so hard to beat, and, and just if you don't have good route runners or just like a very, like I said, very fast receiver, you're not gonna be there, right? Let's go ahead and come out against Cover Four. Now against Cover Four, it's like I would say it's not, it's not a lot different, but it's it's a little bit different because it's a lot. Cover Four is a better passing defense than the other formations I just showed you. But what I usually do against Cover Four, I usually motion over my B guy, put my um havoc on the route to the left. I usually motion this guy over like this. This is kind of mess up the alignment, and then I snap it like this. So I had to boom, boom, and then Y should get open right there. It, that Y route is so elite. It's going to get underneath curl flats, uh, quarter flats. It's going to get underneath that, and it's just one of the best in the game. I'm going to go ahead and block my havoc right there, and to make sure I have enough time in the pocket to throw wherever I want to. B, I got A right here through the. Okay, I actually, that um, A route I should have high balled it because that would have been open, but I actually did have B open right there. As you guys, that's what I look at it right quick. Go to repay. And as you guys can see, it's going to snap it. Look at, look at the B route right here from DPJ number 11. Right here, it's actually open right there. That's right there, that's a, uh, wide open. And if I do throw this ball right here, that's actually wide open, but I did throw it a little bit too late. And then, like I said, that underneath route is going to get open right there. Boom. And then, as you guys can see, that, that very, very fast receiver right there, he's going to get open 90% of the time. If he's a very fast uh, red receiver, um, he should get open against like a, a slower DB that's out of range. We still caught it somehow. That is crazy. But like I said, if you have a very fast receiver, use him, all right? Because very fast receivers are really, really good in the game against cover zero. Or just like zone two like, is very, very good. So I'm going to try to lob that one more time. I'm going to lob pass free form to the outside. And he, wow, he actually caught that. That is crazy. That's a good animation. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And one thing I do want to say, if you're playing against a very good, like, passing uh, uh, defense formation, make sure you guys take your underneath routes, all right? Because they're going to have stuff to the, the stop the corner routes. Take your underneath stuff. So if he's only sending, like, four, use underneath. So you got the halfback right here. Um, right there, you can throw it to him. You got the halfback. I mean, not the halfback. You got the tight end. On a, put him on a drag. Take underneath stuff. If the bomb stuff is not open, take the underneath route. So, like, right here, I'm going to throw it to A right here through the middle. I can fit that right there. That's wide open. I can take that and take my take the drag rush needs on HR, right? So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.